In this video, we'll look at using SAML to configure user groups and permissions. You can also combine SAML with SKIM, enabling you to use SAML for authentication and SKIM to manage users and user groups. This provides you with greater transparency because it allows you to view key details about your users and groups from Burp Suite Enterprise. Before you can use SAML to configure user groups, you first need to set up an LDAP or SAML connection for single sign-on. If you would like to create groups using SAML without SKIM integration, you will first need to log in to Burp Suite Enterprise as an administrator. From the team menu, select Groups. Create a new group representing each of the groups of users in your LDAP or SAML identity provider. Make sure the groups have the same names as the ones you send from Active Directory or your SAML identity provider. If you manage your users directly in Azure Active Directory, you will need to use the group ID. You can find more on this in our section on configuring SAML SSO with Azure Directory. Assign roles to your groups as required. If you don't assign any roles, although your users would be able to log in, they wouldn't be able to access any functionality. You can also limit which sites users in a particular group can access by applying site restrictions for each group. Save your changes and you're all done.